Loanable funds market is represented by a supply and demand graph that shows um, simply supply and demand of loanable funds. As a supply and demand graph, it does have different labels. On the horizontal label, you'll see quantity of loanable funds, which is not quantity of investment as shown in your textbook. I think only Krugman does that. Uh, and then on the vertical axis, you have a cursive R, not a very good one, but a cursive R or real interest rates. Either of those is acceptable on the AP exam. If you use anything else, you're probably not going to get the point, especially if you just say interest rates. It's not accepted. Supply of loanable funds is affected by two things. The uh, change in the money supply, that would be affected by monetary policy, uh, which you'll learn about in Module 6, or the uh, change in people's savings. Uh, savings increases or decreases, of course, that changes the interest rates and the quantity of loanable funds available. Um, do not assume that savings increases. Something has to change it. And typically they'll say savings increases or savings decreases because it's too hard to determine if savings in the United States increases or savings in the economy. Now, demand for loanable funds would change because there's a change in investment demand. Um, businesses want to expand or contract or because there's a change in fiscal policy. Um, government increases spending, decreases spending, or changes taxes, that's going to affect the demand for loanable funds. For example, if the government decides to decrease taxes, they have to find a way to decrease or to replace those lo the, that money that they've borrowed. So, or they've decreased in taxes. So what they'll do is they will borrow money from the loanable funds market which effectively shifts demand for loanable funds to the right, increasing interest rates and increasing the quantity supplied of loanable funds. Uh, just remember, fiscal policy uses the loanable funds market, and you should be good to go from this point on. Have a great FLBS day.